Okay, so this is a video on manipulating formula. Um, so there's some basic rules that you need to remember when you're manipulating formula, and it's the same as when we're solving for linear equations um, and solving for solving in general. So um, you must remember, like, that when a plus cross the equals, it becomes a minus, minus becomes a plus, multiply becomes a divide, and divide becomes a multiply. Um, what we're trying to do when we're manipulating formula is try getting the unknown that they want us to on its own. And we have to take it step by step to make sure that we don't make mistakes. So do everything just step by step um, and that reduces our chances of making mistake, mistakes. Um, one important thing to remember is if we end up um, with a square root, in order to get rid of the square root, we square both sides. So we'll see an example. We'll do three examples in this video and you'll see an example of that. Um, so not to forget that. Okay, so example one. Um, they give us an equation or a formula. And in this case, they want us to make x the subject of this formula. So as you can see, the x is not on its own. So when they want us to make x the subject, they want us to have x equals whatever the answer is. So let's start. So um, we want to get x on its own. So you have to ask yourself, what's stopping us from getting x on its own? Okay, we can see that the a is and then the minus b. Like when solving linear equations, it's easier to get rid of sorry, the b first because that's the subtraction. We know when the subtraction cross equals, it becomes a plus. So we'd have ax is equal to b or c plus b. Now we have to ask ourselves again, what's stopping us from getting the x on its own? Well, it's the fact that the a is stuck to the x, which means it's multiplying. So I know if I bring the a across the equals, it's going to become a divisor. So on the right hand side we have c plus b and now it's all going to be divided by a. And that's our answer there. We've made a x the subject of the formula they provide us with. So it's very it's straightforward. It's just following the simple steps um, and showing your work and it's hard to make an, a mistake then. Let's look at this one, it's a bit trickier. So Make y the subject of x equal to 5 plus 10 all over y. So you can see this time y is there twice. So we know it's going to be a bit trickier. Um, right, so let's try get the y's on their own. Well, the first thing I would do here is get the divisor, so the y that's on the bottom, up. Bring it up. So, um, so let's bring it across here so we know and they're all on the same level. So we know that if a divisor brick comes across the equals, it becomes a multiplier. So that will become xy is equal to y plus 10. Okay, so we want to get um, our y's together. So let's bring, we have a y on the left hand side, we have one on the right hand side. So let's bring them together. So let's bring this one on the right hand side across. That would leave us with xy minus y because that plus across the equals becomes a minus and that would just leave us is equal to 10. So as you can see we're getting close to it now with the y's on the left hand side they're beside each other and um, we want to get y equals so now we have to think how can we get x y minus y to become y well, we can factorize because we can take out what's common which is factorizing that's a method of factorization so y would go into x, y, x times, and y would go into minus y, minus 1 times. That would be equal to 10. So you should be able to see that we're really close to getting it now. What's stopping us from getting the y in its own is the fact that it's stuck beside x minus 1. We know that if it's stuck beside something, it's multiplying by it. So if we want to get y in its own, bring that multiply across the equals, and it become a divisor. Our answer for y is y is equal to 10 over x minus 1. So that one is a bit trickier, um, but hopefully you understand it. Just watch the video a few times if you, if you need to reinforce it. And finally, the last one then. Make g the subject of v is equal to square root of 2gh. Okay, and as I said earlier at the start of this video, if we want to get rid of the square root, the only way to do so is square both sides. So let's do that. So we'll have v all to be squared is v squared. 
because the square root of 2gh all to be squared will just give us 2gh because the square root will cancel or the square will cancel the square root so we want to make g the subject meaning we want to get g on its own so what's stopping us from getting g on its own well it's the fact that two things are stuck to it 2 and h and um, meaning they're multiplying by it so if we want to get it on its own so we'll have v squared bring over them multiplies once they cross the equals they're going to become divisors so we'll get 2h equals g we've got g on its own even though it's on the right hand side that does not matter and um, we've still isolated it and found it's on its own we can just write it g is equal to v squared over 2h so either answer is correct and we'll find what g is